welcome back to another episode of Family News. Our first segment brings us to a new restaurant in the city of Smith Station. If you were driving along Panther Parkway in the city, you may notice the parking lot of a new restaurant called Toasted is full every day since their opening last week. Toasted, which serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner throughout the week, was started in Columbus by owner Skylar Toole and Aspen Jones. Toole sat down with us to discuss the reasons for bringing Toasted to the city. We've always been in Columbus. Uh, my family has always done everything in Columbus, but we decided that it would be, you know, it'd be um, a good idea to bring some stuff over here. This community is really growing, and we. Um, just saw an opportunity. We got uh, got an opportunity to get this building here, and and we we jumped on it. Uh, we feel like it'd be lucrative for both uh, the the city and us to bring in some extra revenue. And um, I mean, I, I just think it would it's going to work out really good for everybody. So far, the community's reaction has been beyond great, and many are going to social media to show their support. Uh, the community has been reacting really well to the to the new restaurant. Everybody's come out and support us. Um, we've been super busy since we opened the door. Um, we just ask everybody to be patient while we work through a few of these bugs that we've got to, to work through. But um, other than that, I mean, everybody's really loving it, and uh, we, we couldn't be happier. Toasted is open every day to serve the community minus Mondays and is located on Panther Parkway between Fellowship Baptist Church and Panther Mini Sorge. For Panther News Network, this is Colin Scargins. Who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? Here's Emily and Melina with that story. We're going around the school for Super Bowl predictions. Super Bowl Anger. Want to be Sure. Okay. Super Bowl predictions. Who do, you think who do you think is going to be on the Super Bowl? Who do I think is going to be in the Super Bowl? Yeah. I'm going to say Kansas City Chiefs, which I'm not a huge fan, and the Detroit Lions. Who, oh, right Who do you think is going to be in the Super Bowl? Uh, the Ravens and the uh, 49ers. Who do you think is going to be on the Super Bowl? Uh, just say the two. Okay, Kansas City and the Ravens. Thank you. Is going to be in the Super Bowl. Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> mm -mm. I wish, but no. Hey, who do you think is going to be in the Super Bowl? Like, both teams? The Ravens and the 49ers? Who do you think is going to be in the Super Bowl? Who do I think is going to be in the Super Bowl? I would love for Detroit to be in the Super Bowl. Um, it's a big Barry Sanders fan, which I'm probably not. I don't know what it is. <laughs> But um, I think it's their time to earn a Super Bowl. Yeah. Um, you know, if not, then of course I will root for Lamar Jackson, the Ravens. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Ravens in the 49ers. Okay. Who do you think is uh, going to be in the Super Bowl? Uh, the Ravens. Thank you. Who do you think is going to be in the Super Bowl? Oh, hey, who do you think is going to be in the Super Bowl? Super Bowl? Uh, Baltimore and San Francisco. The Mississippi Braves, a double-A team, is coming to Columbus. Here's Cannon Saunders with that story. The Atlanta Braves double-A affiliate team, the former Mississippi Braves, have decided to relocate to Columbus. The Braves finished the season 29-40. and 40. After 19 years at Trustmark Park in Pearl, Mississippi, the relocation primarily to get the team closer to their major league affiliate, the M Braves will finish out their 2024 season in Pearl and make the switch before the 25 season. The former home of the Chattahoots is currently outside the standards for a double-A minor league team, and the city of Columbus will foot the bill for the M Braves, an estimated $48 million renovation to Golden Park. Columbus City Council decided in early January with some believing that this was a misuse of funds for the city, that we should focus on existing issues in Columbus, and this change may cost taxpayers. According to Councilman Beagley, it all depends on the 2024 budget and how we handle it. Others say the stadium will produce economic growth and help it grow the Fountain City. Here's Kinsley Waller and Brooke Hobbs, who recently interviewed Alexa Hodgins, who recently made Smith Station history. My name is Kinsley Waller and today I'm here with Alexa Hodgins 
who I'm going to be talking about making school history when becoming a state placer for Smith Station High School's girls wrestling team on Friday, January 19th, 2024. So, Alexa, what were some things, like challenges, that you had to overcome throughout your match? Um, I had to go through a lot of anxiety, so I had to overcome that as well. And a lot of physical things, such as working on my shots and a lot of technique. Okay. Um, what was your um, mind, I guess, like going into the match? Like, did, were you, like, thinking you were going to place? Um, so, I knew I was going to place. It was a matter of can I – get seventh or, or am I going to be an eighth mm -hmm. and at first I was nervous but the entire time I kept thinking I could do all things through Christ who strengthens me and through that I worked through my anxiety and a lot of other things that were in my head and I placed and did really well. Yeah. Um, were you expecting um, like a lot of competition going into your match? I I did actually I expected to get handled and she did do really good, and she was strong, but her technique wasn't there, and I think that I worked really well on my technique, and that really pushed me to place seven. Okay. Well, congratulations, and thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. thank you for watching this episode of Panther News. We'll see you all next week.